listen very closely. I have a very important message. They're biting a frog on Chickamauga right now. No, not in Hydrilla. No, not schooling fish in the edge of Hydrilla, which is normally where I catch them on a frog. Up in the bushes, my favorite way to fish, period. Like, I don't think there's anything else except for whatever I'm catching on, on next week that's my favorite way to fish than skipping a frog under bushes. It's so satisfying. Hunter's out here with me. She's not buying it. She thinks they're not biting a frog under bushes. We gotta show her a little different today. Let's go catch some fish. You listen here, buddy. You listen here. I believe in you. It's August. Nobody else believes in you in the middle of the day, but I do. Okay? So you get over there and you get me one and bring him back. There he is. Big one? Nope. Good one, though. Came off. That's a dang long one. Dang. How'd I lose that one? Dude, I, ne I rarely ever lose them like that. That sucker was like 18 inches long, weighed two pounds. Holy crap. Well, that one's daggum chomped it the way they're supposed to chomp it. Oosh. I heard him bite that sucker. That is fun right there. Oh, man. Look at how he ate that sucker. Awesome. Snatched him straight out of the freaking water. You never know what it's going to be back there. Nice one. Mm -hmm -hmm. My way of catching them. Okay, so one of the things that I hate about fishing heavy cover with a frog overhangs is, I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's a rip in the frog right there beside the mouth. That happens quite a bit to me because... You're trying to get them out over limbs and stuff. When you set the hook, a lot of times the frog lip will catch or something. And then this will actually pull and it'll rip it. Or even on a fish, if their mouth's closed, it'll rip it. So that's how I tear frogs up most of the time is I rip the mouth out almost always. So that's the reason I'm changing colors is because I have to. And now we're going to put on a different color. Frog box looking a little weak, actually. I don't got many in there. Look at that. That's the only one I got. That's not a spro in here. Uh, and... This snag proof. This sucker right here is like 10 years old. This one's like when they were the Booyahs first came out. I did buy a couple. You can see these are baby, there's baby powder on the frogs. What that does is it just keeps the uh, legs a little not so sticky. They don't get gummed up like uh, everybody knows how they do sometimes. So let me know what color would you be throwing right now? So if I had to pick a least favorite color frog, it's got to be this one. I do not like the nasty shad very much. I don't really know why, just never really even thrown it, just didn't like the way it looks. So, let's throw it. Just tie a regular old polymer knot. Tie it down tight. Polymer's good. If I'm throwing less than, if I'm throwing like 50 pound braid or smaller, I'll do a double polymer. 60 pound braid, I'll show you what I do. I just tie a regular polymer, and then I, I will take a lighter. I hate that I use that much. Hate to waste that much braid, but sometimes you, you got to. See if I can dig a lighter out. There it is. Maybe I should start smoking just so I have a lighter handy all the time. And I'll burn that to where it's got a little bit of a... Uh, see, it's got the burn spot on the end. What that does, it keeps the braid from fraying. And when it don't fray... Because sometimes the braid will fray and burn, get down into the knot and make the knot weaker. So when you burn it, it keeps these together and just makes your knot stay stronger for longer. So, Hunter says she knew where the fish were setting up. So she drove us to a spot, and I just caught this long sucker, super long. I watched it swim under the bush, and I slowed it down a little bit and ate it, but I did not have the camera on. I apologize. It's on now.
Man, them spots hit it, dude. He ain't even in the mouth. He's on top of the head. Hunter got her one. What you got you a spot? Up here in this little eddy. Spot of bass galore. Did you pop it? Skip that sucker, man. Maybe I need to be the one flipping from now on. That was supposed to be my fish. <laughs> That's a good one. Feels caught on this. Oh, frog fish. Check it out. <laughs> Boom. <clears throat> That's a that gum. He actually ain't that big, but he is fat as heck. Holy crap. Look at this dude, man. Butter balls up here. Butter balls up here. know what happened today um, we caught a few fish not very good though was it no not as good as the other day it's time to have a serious discussion about my addiction yeah it's time to stop i've been saying that but you keep trying to but we it. caught them we've caught them the last few times not really yeah really not today not today today not is not today. good we did not we, we laid off the better stretches because we're thinking about fishing the tournament Saturday, so we did lay off the better stretches. No, you did that. I did huh? not want to do that. You Hunter, she's to like, that. we know they're swimming around over there. Let's go catch them. I think they're sitting on them brim beds. They're going to stay. So, I personally wanted to leave them alone. Hunter wants to go sore lip them all. Next time you see me and possibly Hunter, we ain't going to be up a river. We're going to be down dragging us some hydrilla, not catching anything. So, that's the plan for next time we go fishing. The plan is not to catch not anything. In hydro? No. How do you want to fish? How do you want to fish? I just want to catch them out. We're going to throw a drop shot in matted hydro. That's the plan for next time. We're going to use a two ounce weight on a drop shot, flip it in the matted hydro, six pound test, and catch some eight pounders. Yep. That's all I want. I bet we'll be skipping dogs. <laughs>